what's good youtube welcome back to my channel if you are new here what's up my name is magica and if you are returning what's popping y'all welcome back welcome back welcome back all right y'all so as y'all can see i have developed a new recording style but this will not always be like that for this particular channel okay because i know y'all like to see your girl shuffle these cards i got you i got you but for my second channel that i just started called right next to god aka r n t g it is a faceless channel and that's because i will be doing strictly intuitive channel messages over there using no tools whatsoever so if you are interested in that type of shit then go ahead and um subscribe and watch the videos that i have uploaded so far up on there um in order to get to that channel you can use the search bar and use the initials r n t g and it will pop right up or you can go to my community tab and click on one of the videos that i have shared from that channel all right without further ado let's go ahead and get into this message okay this reading today is going to be what do people find attractive about you and so far the cards that i got out here baby okay first of all what people find attractive about you collective is that people who act like they don't fuck with you fuck with you behind closed doors okay you got people walking around acting like oh woof de woof i don't talk to her or i don't fuck with her or do or do 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 nah that's not my mm. but behind closed doors baby they're watching you okay they're a groupie they're a fan he a fan he a fan he a fan okay <laughs> And that finds, they find that very attractive about you because they try to play it off so hard. Oh, I don't fuck with collective. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. Especially those of you who are on social media, okay? You post a lot or whatever the case may be. People try to act like they don't fuck with you. Yes, they do, baby. Yes, they do, okay? The other things that are being found attractive about you, Collective, is that when it comes to relationships or people trying to pursue you, you don't do that hot and cold shit, okay? As soon as somebody try to come in and try to act like they're all into you and then back it all up and then come trying to come back and act like they just back into you, you stop that shit right there at the door okay you don't do that shit also what else what um if that part doesn't resonate for you there's this energy of staying away from exes you do not double back to your exes and people find that so attractive about you they don't give a fuck it, it <laughs> it's like you don't care how much you was into that person at one point in time once it's over baby it's over there's no going back, okay? And people find that very attractive about you. The other things people find attractive about you, collective, is that you do not hold on to any grudges, baby. You don't care enough to hold on to any grudges. And the thing about that is that you won't hold on to a grudge but you won't forget either, okay? So once somebody play in your face, once somebody try to uh, fuck you over in some type of way, this person, whoever did it, they are not allowed back into your life. They're not allowed back into your energy. It ain't, can we talk about it or none of that shit like that. You will forgive somebody, but does forgiveness mean that they can come back? hell no nah. not in your book <laughs> you don't play that shit okay you'll play somebody right to the left 
with all that energy of thinking they can come back after they did something to piss you off or did something to deceive you, okay? Mm Mm-mm. It don't work that way, especially it's definitely something that they can't come back from. Oh, don't even try it, babe. Please don't. The things that people find attractive about you, collective, is that you'll cry about something that hurts you, but you won't dwell on it for too long, okay? Yeah, you'll cry. You'll be upset. You may you get a little angry or something like that. But it's not something that you're going to continue to hold on to, okay? Say, like, somebody rejected you or something like that, and you really like this person. You'll be sad, probably disappointed, but then you'll be on to the next. (laughs) And I feel like the person that may have rejected you afterwards, um, seeing you do that um, after they rejected you, may be a little bit bothered by it, but you just like, well, you rejected me, so you thought I was about to just just hold on? Like, you thought I was about to chase you down or something like that? You thought I was about to be hooked on you or something like that? Nah, player. Nah. That ain't how it works. You don't want me? All right. On to the next. <laughs> it's... It ain't no loss over here, you feel me? So that can kind of come off, you know, um, attractive to other people, because especially those who felt like that they had you stuck or the people who um, usually have a lot of options running after them and stuff like that. You don't give a damn. You're not about to be one of them. Once you get rejected, it is what it is, and you about your biz- you you own about your life and going going about your business, and that's it. I feel like <laughs> you just like well, if you're not gonna give me what I want, then I guess I just gotta get up out this hole, and that's what you do. And I feel like um, people find that very attractive about you because you know your worth. That's what's up, collective. Y'all know what else I'm hearing, um, collective? I'm hearing I'm a real trap nigga. I can spin it, get it back. So it's something about y'all that if y'all was to go bro- broke or low on money or you fall off, fall on hard times or something like that, you're the type to be able to pick yourself up and get it back, okay? You'll run it up on a hoe. And you, <laughs> you will probably run it up three times of what you lost, okay? And people find that hella attractive about you. You don't want for nothing. If you need it, you gonna go get it. If you want it, you gonna go get it. (laughs) Period. The other thing that finds, um, that people find attractive about you, Collective, is that there's something here about... You don't care what people have to offer you if it's attached to something that's toxic. Mom? People know that you're not just going to accept anything. You don't care if somebody got money. You don't care about their status. You don't care about none of that shit. (laughs) Okay? If it's attached to something toxic, you don't want it. And I feel like that can become, that's a little um, intimidating to people. But they do find it attractive. They know that they got to come correct or not at all. And they fucking with that. (laughs) All right, let's see what else. Why do people find my collective hooked? Something about your energy, baby. I keep saying that. It's something about your energy. Why do they find my collective to be attractive? Your creativity. Why do they find my collective to be attractive? Why do people find my collective to be attractive?
at one point you could have been in this phase where you were very sad. You were, let's just say your life was kind of spiraling. You didn't know where you were going at one point in time. You could have partied a lot. Okay, you just didn't really have any direction. Okay, and it could have seemed like you were going to be stuck there for a while. But you pulled yourself up out of that. I'm hearing you didn't decide to be a victim of your circumstances. And you changed it. You could have also changed your mindset. Okay? You could have did a lot of um, reflecting and thinking over your own life and where you were going and where you were headed. And you realized it wasn't where you wanted to be. So you turned all that shit around. And people can see that. They find that very attractive about you. Mm. What people find attractive about you, Collective, is that you could have got out of a very toxic relationship that people thought you were going to be stuck in for a very long time or were just never going to move on from. And whoever this is that you were with, um, they were miserable. They could have had um, uh, bad habits. They could have had you in third-party situations. This person could have been benefiting off you more than you were benefiting off them. They could have just took and took and took and took from you. And you got out of there. People find that very attractive about you. People find it very attractive about you that you, they find it very attractive that you stay away from people who are gossipers, talk a lot of shit, okay? People that will never have any facts. You could have been one a person who used to be around all that gossiping about other folks because you were unhappy at one point in time. You could have came out of this energy of being depressed. Some of y'all could have actually been scheming, okay? Y'all could have been <laughs> y'all could have did uh uh some things to get some money, okay? But you got away from it. You got out of that. Some of y'all changed your whole lifestyle around. It's, that's what it's really giving. Mm. People find that very attractive about you. You didn't stay down. I also just heard can't bullshit a bullshitter. So people find it very attractive that you um you know when somebody is on that bullshit, you know when somebody is a snake, a wolf in sheep's clothing, you can spot it out. Cause you once used to be one at one point in time, or you just know what it looks like. Alright. They find it attractive that you are now stepping to your power. Some of y'all could have had some type of rags to riches story, and they find that very attractive, okay? They find it very attractive that you work in silence, you move in silence, you win in silence. <laughs> it's like, I'm hearing, um, sometimes you got to pop out and show niggas. So, you the type to go on your little cave, you know, your little bat cave and shit, Work on some shit, and then next time you pop out, you winning, you, you're looking good, you, you a boss, you're paper right, like, <laughs> okay, you, you just, you looking real attractive out here in these streets, it's, it's, you, you, it's your winning season, okay, 
and it's coming off very, very attractive, okay? Um, people that could have been in competition with you at one point in time. Bruh. They see. They see what you up to. <laughs> uh, alrighty. I also feel like people find attractive about you is that again um you can see a bu- you can see bullshit from a mile away there's something about i don't want to say y'all are detectives out here but you find out shit shit always come to your attention or it so, i don't know you always got the information i don't know if you go looking for it but for majority of y'all i feel like it come to y'all so anybody trying to get over on y'all in any type of way baby you will find out Okay, it's only so long how somebody can play in your face. Yeah, they find that attractive. (laughs) They find that attractive. Also, there's something here about a couple. Okay. If you're the jealous type collective, somebody finds that attractive a little bit, all right? I also feel like um, somebody finds it attractive that they have to fight for you, okay? They got to put in work in order to step to you, okay? Because you ain't no groupie out here. You ain't easily impressed is what I'm hearing. And that can put people in their ego a little bit. That can crush somebody's ego a little bit, Okay? Especially if they used to hoes um, running up behind them and stuff like that, all right? Mm. What what people find attractive about you is that you don't take no shit collective. All that third-party energy gots to go, all right? You're one to stand up on your boundaries. You got standards and you uphold them. (laughs) It's that energy of come correct or don't come at all. People find attractive about you. What people find attractive about you is that you give to other people. Okay. Some of y'all could be into charities or feeding the homeless or you just like to help out whenever you can. And I feel like you, um, this is shit that you do behind the scenes. It ain't really nothing that you tell people about. Okay, I feel like this um this is uh close people around you who know you do these type of things. Also, some of y'all can be um in the public eye or you get a lot of attention in whatever it is that you do. And I feel like even though you get a lot of attention, you I don't want to say you hide from it, but you don't care for it. You don't care to be seen. <laughs> you you like to be low key. It's definitely giving humble as well. If you have if you do have a relationship and you keep it private and you keep people out of your out of your relationship and out of your business, people find that attractive. Mhm. Here it. People find your work ethic attractive. What else do they find attractive about my collective, Holy Spirit? What do they find attractive about my collective? You're quick. I don't want to say you're quick with the um, decision making, but when it's time to make a decision, you try not to be all up in your head. Okay? You, You know how to make sound decisions. 
you don't allow negative thoughts to get the best of you or anything like that. Hmm. What makes you attractive is that you know where you're going. You got a plan and you're executing. People love that about you. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Page of Cups. Okay, you're loved. You're loved. You're loved. And you could be loved by a lot of people. People can find the way that you um, show up in partnerships, friendships. Um, relationships. Attractive. They can find that all attractive. For some of y'all, the way that y'all treat your kids. I also feel like the vision that you have for your lifestyle or the life you want to live, they find it attractive. I feel like anything that you have been through that tried to stop you, you fought through. And you won, you succeeded, and people find that attractive. All right. People find uh, it attractive that you put it into um, drama, immaturity. Like you don't have time for that type of shit. So you're the one who always chooses to walk away, be the bigger person. It's like you got it. Nah, you got it. You can have it. <laughs> okay, people find it attractive. Find your happiness attraction, uh, attraction, Jesus Christ. Find your happiness attractive. The love for yourself attractive. Some of y'all got a lot of self-love. They find that hella attractive. Mm. I feel like y'all really, it's giving a huge 360 the way that I'm looking at these cards, or I should say 180. The way that I'm looking at these cards, I feel like y'all went from a hard life to something fulfilling, real fulfilling. Mm, 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 mm. And some of y'all just, y'all went from being connected to people who weren't any good for you to isolating yourself from them and becoming a better version of yourself and stepping in some type of power. Hmm. Collective. I love that for y'all. I also feel like there's a mysteriousness to y'all. You come off as a mystery of how, how whatever happened to y'all, how did the, the collective go from this to this? And it's like, damn, that's attractive as fuck. Like, hell yeah. Whatever new beginnings you set on, whatever new beginnings you took a chance on, it worked out for y'all. It worked out for y'all because I really feel like y'all was in the Five of Cups energy at one point in time in your life. 
okay? And you were just waiting for the will to turn in your favor, waiting for your manifestations to come through. Some of y'all could have prayed for your manifestations to come through. And it could have seemed like everything was just pouring down on you. Everything was just an issue and stuff like that. Not knowing, taking that chance on yourself, doing those prayers, and allowing God to move you wherever you need to move your, whatever he needed to move you to, baby, it worked out for the best. It worked out for the best. Okay? It really did. I also feel like some of y'all could be um, um, very spiritual or intuitive yourself and people find that um intimidating <laughs> but attractive <laughs> okay it's a little intimidating but attractive but they feel like whatever y'all been through y'all persevered y'all did a whole change in your life y'all killed off a version of y'all that no longer exists and you're in this energy of abundance Okay, prosperity, all types of shit, all types of good shit, okay? Because at one point in time, you were stressed out, you didn't know where you were going, but you had this vision for yourself, and I feel like y'all are living it, or you're on the brink of living it. So congratulations, collective. This is why you're attractive, okay? You you ain't came out swinging, okay? And for some of y'all, this is like, I feel like um, y'all broke some type of generational curse. Y'all broke a generational curse. You put an end to a generational curse. And it got you in this sun and ace of cups energy. Like, I'm here and I'm living my best life. I ain't going back with you, niggas. I'm living my best life. <laughs> you winning, collective. You are out here winning. And I feel like you're winning in silence. You're winning in silence. This ain't nothing people ain't really going to come out and celebrate you on. Like... It may feel like you're winning in silence. Some of y'all could be winning in silence. You could be winning behind the scenes. But with these people creeping, they're watching you. They be looking you up. Okay, I don't know if you post on social media or, you know, or how they're seeing you, how they're seeing this life change. But they seeing you and they behind the scenes with it. And I don't think they really going to come out and really uh, congratulate you, okay? But that's all right, because I'm going to congratulate you. Congratulations, collective. <laughs> you out here doing your shit, my nigga. So continue to do that, because you out here winning. And I feel like y'all got out here people assuming some things as well. But that's all right. That's all right. That is all right. All right, my loves. That's the end of the reading today. If this resonated with you in any type of way, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this message with someone you feel may need to hear it. Continue to help your girl get to 5,000 subscribers because once I get there, I will be giving away two free readings. And if you have not yet followed my new channel, Go ahead and follow my new channel right next to God, a.k.a. R-N-T-G. Again, you can find that under my community tab. Or you can search the search bar on Google, I mean on YouTube, R-N-T-G. All right, y'all. Until next time. Bye.